Okay, let's go ahead and add these fractions with variables. And the way we uh, refer to these in algebra is uh, these are what we call rational expressions, okay? These are rational expressions. So technically what we're doing here is adding these rational expressions. This word rational uh, in mathematics basically refers to uh, uh, numbers that we can express as a fraction. So when you hear the word rational, kind of to give you kind of a simple way to think about it, think in terms of fractions, okay? Numbers that we can write as fractions, and uh, is, uh, numbers that we can write as fractions, again, like the number two-thirds, is a rational number. But in algebra, something like this, we don't refer to as a fraction. Uh, we really kind of refer to as rational expressions. And of course, if we had an equation, in other words, let's say I had a number here, this would be a rational equation, okay? So if you were just you know, looking for additional help, like, hey, what do we call these type of problems? Well, we're talking about rational expressions and equations. But uh, anyways, we're going to talk about exactly what we can uh, we need to do to um, add these two rational expressions. But if you can do this, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. Uh, of course, if you're taking any sort of algebra course, you're definitely going to have to know how to do this. But I'm going to show you the uh, uh, solution here in just one second. And then, of course, I'm going to walk you through um, how to do this. And we're going to actually do this in two ways. So you definitely want to stick around if you're having any uh, trouble with rational expressions. But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I'm telling you right now, you can be successful in mathematics, and I'm especially, um, especially speaking to those of you that struggle in math. Maybe you think you're a bad math student or you're just not capable of learning mathematics. I'm telling you right now, that's false thinking. You can learn math, but what you need is great math instruction, clear understandable and comprehensive. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level in terms of mathematics, check out my math help program. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. I promise it will help you out big time. Also, if you happen to be preparing for any sort of test with a math section, there's so many out there. I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, ASVAB, teacher certification exam, college um, uh, placement exams like the Alex or AccuPlacer, um, a lot of you are going to be taking an exam like this. You're probably not even aware of it. But anyways, I have a ton of test prep courses that can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, check out my homeschool program for middle and high school mathematics. Uh, won a lot of awards this year with my program. Very proud of that achievement. If you need a pair of awesome math notes, I'm going to leave links to my notes in the description of this video. But you need to uh, learn how to be an awesome note taker. Uh, that's one of the key things you need to do to be successful in mathematics. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's get into this problem. And as promised, I'm going to show you the answer. There you go. The answer, uh, we have 2 over x plus 1 over x plus 1. The answer is 3x plus 2 over x uh, pr uh, times uh, x plus 1. Now, if you uh, chose to distribute this x and your denominator is x squared plus x, that's perfectly fine as well. Okay, But there's no need to do that um, unless your math teacher asks you to do that. As long as you have your answer like this or this as your denominator, you got the answer right. And in return, you must get a nice happy face, an A+. Plus. Matter of fact, I'm going to give you 110% multiple stars for being pretty awesome at adding rational expressions. But uh, let's go ahead and talk about um, what we need to do to um, add these expressions. So what we need to do, okay, we're dealing with fractions with variables, i.e. rational expressions. Anytime we're dealing with fractions, right, just regular old uh, number fractions, and we want to add and subtract, we we'll always have to be thinking about the denominators. And if the denominators aren't the same, well, we need to find uh, a lowest common denominator. So if you're thinking in terms of the LCD, that's excellent, right? We can't add these fractions because the denominators are different. So first things first, um, we need to find the lowest common denominator. So I'm assuming you already know how to um, add fractions uh, with numbers, i.e. something like two-thirds plus one-fifths or one-fifth. Um, what do we need to do here? I, we got to find the LCD, right? Which is, of course, 15. And then we have to uh, change each of these fractions such that the denominators are 15. Well, it's the same thing here. That's why it's so important to master arithmetic 
if you are studying algebra. A lot of you are like, eh, I don't need to uh, remember that stuff I learned back in fifth grade, sixth and seventh grade. No, you absolutely do, okay? Because it's basically the same procedure. We're just dealing with variables. So here, the LCD is going to be x times x plus 1. Now, uh, finding the LCD of rational expressions, this is like a full lesson in and of itself, okay? But I'll just tell you very briefly, what you need to do is you need to um, multiply the prime factors of each of these uh, uh, denominators. In this case, x is all by itself, and here x plus 1 is uh, all by itself. This is the only factor here. This is the only factor here. So uh, we need to find the product of all the prime, prime factors of the denominators. We get the LCD. If you... Um, uh, are struggling with finding the LCD of rational expressions, I'm going to uh, uh, direct you towards my Algebra 1 course, okay? You can find that at my Math Help program. I go through this super thoroughly, okay? Also, I believe I have additional videos on my YouTube channel about how to find the LCD of rational expressions. But anyways, this is the LCD, okay? So if that's confusing to you, make sure you follow up and uh, understand why this is uh, the LCD. Anyways, okay, so we have the LCD x times um, x plus 1. Let's go ahead and now rewrite these fractions, okay, such that these denominators, we're basically we're taking this fraction and we're going to write it uh, in a way such that it has the LCD as its denominator. And we're going to take this rational expression or fraction, kind of talk loosely here, okay? If you're like, oh, if I say the word fraction, what I really mean is rational expression. It's just a little bit easier to say the word fraction. But anyways, um, what, we need to do, we, what we need to do is to uh, rewrite these individual rational expressions such that they have this LCD as the denominator, okay? So how do we do that? Well, let's go ahead and talk about that right now. All right, just like regular number fractions, okay, if I have this um, rational expression, let me fix that up right there, 2 over x, if I want to turn this denominator x into x times x plus 1. Well, how do I do that? Well, let's just multiply an x uh, plus 1 times that x, and I get the LCD, okay? Well, if I multiply the denominator uh, by x plus 1 here, in this particular fraction, I also got to multiply the numerator, so x plus 1 times 2, okay? I'm going to have to address that here in a second. We'll talk about that, that uh, in a moment. Let's go over and take a look at this um, rational expression. I need to um, turn this x plus 1 into an x times x plus 1. That's easy. Just multiply this by x. So I have to multiply the numerator by x. Remember, even though I don't have parentheses here, anytime you have a sum or difference, you know, like addition and subtraction, you got some algebra or even numbers, it's always a good idea to put grouping symbols in there so you don't make any confusion when you uh, multiply, if you are uh, going to multiply using uh, the distributive property. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Now let's, we'll go back over here. So x times x plus one, we get our LCD. And then here, x plus one times two, that's just gonna be the result of doing the distributive property. That would be just two x plus two, and that's what I have right there. And then this x times that one, is, of course, is just going to be x. All right, so we have 2x plus 2 and x. So we are almost there. We finally have two rational expressions, same denominators. So now we're ready to go ahead and just add the numerators, right? So just like in this situation, 2 sevenths plus 1 sevenths, uh, once the denominators are the same, well, we just simply add the numerators. So in this case, it would be 2 plus 1, which would be 3 sevenths. And that's the same thing we need to do here. So let's go ahead and finish this up. All right, so here is the problem. And uh, of course, we have the denominators the same. So we just write one denominator, x times x plus 1. And then we're going to add the respective numerators. So that'll be 2x plus 2 right here, plus this x. And then, of course, we're going to um, add like terms. 2x and x is 3x plus 2. There you go. Uh, this is our final answer, OK? So this is how you deal with um, adding rational expressions. And these denominators are pretty uh, easy, okay? In terms of difficulty level, um, let's say between 0 being super easy and 10 being very, very difficult, I would give this problem maybe like a 4 or 5. So, you know, you don't want to get overconfident. You're like, oh, I can do this. I can do all these problems. Well, not so quick because the denominators can get quite interesting and could require uh, you doing a lot of factoring. 
Okay, factoring is probably one of the most critical algebra skills that you need to know. Matter of fact, if you don't know how to factor, unfortunately, you probably won't even be able to pass algebra. So figure out what you know and don't know, okay? You make a list, da, 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 and work on that, right? Don't, like, have a list of things you don't understand and be like, yep, I don't understand this. I hope it doesn't come up, you know, on any future math test. That's not the way it's going to work, okay? But if you have a, a specific list of things you don't understand, that's actually very, very good because you can start working on this list, okay, improving. You don't have to even be perfect at these skills that you struggle with. You just have to improve and everything will get better. And then over time, you'll, you know, things will eventually click and you'll master this stuff. But the key is to not quit and to have access to great math instruction. Hopefully this video helps you out. If that is the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.